Hi, this is just going to be a quick video to show you um, what you can do to check and see if your memory stick or maybe external hard drive or something like this is still working. From time to time, you may plug it into a computer and it may look like it's loading up and installing drivers and things like that and you'll get the little USB symbol down the bottom. But when you actually go into um, you know, my computer or something like this, you won't be able to see it. So I just want to show you something you can try, certainly, that might get you out of this. Um, sometimes may have just gone a little bit screwy on the drive okay so I'm just going to plug in a memory stick here uh, into the computer and you can see it's popped up there I will just launch it there now and you can see uh, the USB mass storage device is connected okay but when I go into my computer I can't see it I know I have two hard drives here and I should have another one here possibly called F something like this and that would be the memory stick so what to do if you're in that circumstance well what you can try is a thing called disk management and if you go into uh, I, I should say I'm doing this on Windows XP um, on Windows Vista and 7 and 8 it's similar but the thing here will be called computer if you right click on it and go manage okay and the one you want here is disk management now what I should say is do not, under any circumstances, start messing about with the other settings in your uh, in this section here. You could damage the computer, basically, and you might have to reinstall the software after it. Okay, so that's just your warning there. We'll take no responsibility for anything you do outside of this. Okay, so I can see here that I have my uh, C and E, uh, which I already showed you, and they're my two hard drives uh, that are in the computer. But this extra one here now I can see. And this is my memory stick. It's a 16 gigabyte memory stick, but it's not showing up in Windows. But this disk management software can see it. Now, what you might see here is the thing to note is that you should never start messing about with the drives that are already installed. OK, it mightn't even let you do this, uh, certainly if it was the primary, um, the primary drive, but you should never do that. So always make sure that the capacity of the thing uh, whether it be a USB memory stick or external hard drive is exactly the one that you think it should be okay so I can see here now that power one is the one I want it's the 16 gigabytes which will show up in Windows as 14.88 gigabytes okay so I'm just going to go down here now now you can see here that it's set to FAT32 um, there's just something wrong that Windows can't see it and it says it's healthy now what you might find is if you put in a drive it might come up here and say it's raw or something like this and in this case what you do is you right click on it and you just go format and it'll take you through a procedure it's mostly next 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 and um, it should it should go through to the end then it's a fairly quick process and after that then windows should pick it up now it could be the case that your memory stick or external hard drive is just is just damaged and you know it's damaged beyond repair and there's nothing you can do about it so but this is one way you can recover it if it is at all possible so if i go format so i can change volume label if i want file system fat 32 allocation unit size default that's all fine okay so if i did that Oh, sorry, I'm just going to cancel that. I should say perform a quick format just for the purposes of this video. We want to do it as quick as possible. So you can see it going through there now. And it'll just take a short time. And it'll come back then and say that it's after been formatted. Okay, so you can see there, power one, 14.9 gigabytes, uh, FAT32 is healthy. If I go back here, you can see it's still not picking it up, right? So why is this not? Another thing to check then is if it has no drive letter, you can see that the volumes have CE and you can just see the volume name there, power one, is just what I call that drive. It has no drive letter. So you can change the drive letters and paths. So I'm just going to say add, assign the following drive letter F. And there you have it now. F is showing up and you can just kill this now and you can see here in my windows power one the f drive is now showing up i've not on it there because i'm after formatting it. but you can see there how it would work so that's basically it just so a little uh, a little tip 
if your computer isn't uh, picking up your external hard drive or memory stick or something like that there may, it may be just something wrong with the file system or maybe it doesn't have a, um, a designated drive letter or something like this obviously when you're picking drive letters you want to pick a drive letter that's not currently in use so you can see there I have A, D, C, E and F was the one that I gave it then so that's basically it um, just how to use the disk management software in Windows